All right, so now we need to go ahead and find the magnitude and the angle of this. And we're going to do that by doing the Pythagorean theorem with the x component here and the y component here. So the magnitude of the force right here is simply going to be equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared like this. So the magnitude of the force is going to equal the square root of 100 plus 400. So it's going to be the square root of 500. And if I keep going down with this, I'm going to be able to take out, remember there's a 5 and a 100 here, I'm going to be able to take out a 10. So I'm going to get 10 root 5 newtons as the magnitude of the force. Okay, so that's the first part. But now we need to find the angle. So my angle here is going to be, theta is going to equal the inverse tangent of the y component over the x component. And that's just going to give me the inverse tangent of 20 over 10, which is just 2 right here. And so that's just going to give me theta is going to equal 63.43 degrees. And where is that reference point going to be? Well, it's going to be uh, north of west. So when I go ahead and write that out as the actual force here, I'm going to say the force net okay, is going to be 10 root 5 newtons 63.43 degrees north of west and that's your net force the complete version of it and that's the direction that that boat is going to feel the pull the net force that it's going to feel in that direction now there, there was one more part to this question it says find the net acceleration well if you recall the net force is equal to the mass times the net acceleration. And so if I want to find the net acceleration, I just take the net force and I divide it by the mass. So it's going to be the force net over the mass. So the magnitude of this is just going to be 10 root 5, which is the net force, divided by the mass. So if you go up here and you recall, our mass is 1,000 kilograms in this example. That's my boat. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to write divided by 1,000. So my A net, if I rewrite it down here, is simply going to give me uh, root 5 over 100 meters per second squared. And where is the direction? Well, it's the same direction as the force because the acceleration points in the same direction as the force. So it's going to be the same thing, 63 point four three degrees north of west and that is my net acceleration so the two are always related they're just one step away you're just going to divide by the mass these two are going to point in the same direction always they're just going to have slightly different magnitudes so that's all we got for this video thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon